Hello and welcome to a statue review for the Gem series Greymon and Taichi Yagami. This by far is the largest statue and most expensive statue I have ever bought. He is a big boy and today we're going to be taking a look at the statue. So uh, this, just to be clear, is a re-release. I think uh, this was originally released a few years ago. Uh, this is the second release of it. Don't know if anything's changed about that, maybe packaging or whatever. Let me know if you do know. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to crack this open. So we'll take a quick look at the box and then we'll get into it. So as you can see, it is from Digimon Adventure. Uh, it is Gem down there, uh, Bandai Namco. And I've got to say, this packaging is really cool. So obviously we've got the front clear um, packaging here. But if we turn it around, we've also got like these tear motifs. Uh, so we've got a side view of Tai riding Greymon, as he did in Adventure 1. Um, from the back, we've got another more detailed look. Uh, we've got Tai up there, and we've got Greymon. Don't know if you could spot him, he's hard to notice. And on the side, we've got a kind of zoom in on his face without tie. Actually, I think they've taken him off for that picture. And on the top is one of the coolest parts. He's a sort of doing his flame ball thing attack. Nova Flare, I want to say. And again, we've got the really cool cuts into the cardboard with plastic. This, honestly, like packaging wise alone is really cool. I do love the fact as well, the packaging looks like Greymon. It's got his blue accent mark things that he's got all over his body. Anyway, let's now get into opening him. Uh, oh, there you go, and you've got the silhouette underneath, uh, and it says the name. Cool, right, I'm gonna go cut open the uh, plastic things now, and we'll take a look inside. All right, I am back. So that actually took a while to unpack, because he was very well wrapped, understandably. Uh, so, I thought I'd kind of show you what's in it before I assemble everything. Uh, so we've got Greymon, and we've got Tai there. So, I thought we'd take a look at Tai in detail first, uh, and maybe Greymon, and then I'll assemble, basically. So, I've got to say, we'll begin with uh, the Digidestin himself. Tai is impressively detailed. Uh, so, the paint apps, obviously Gem Series there, they're a cut above, you know, prize figures and stuff. They're sort of, they're not super, super expensive, I don't think, um, in terms of other, like, statue, you know, uh, makers, but uh, still, you know, pretty pricey. So we'll take a quick look round and stuff. His shoes have a lot of detail. Um, I'm liking the paint apps as well. So the cool thing with, obviously, more expensive uh, statues is that there's always like gradients and stuff and we can kind of see that here in his shirt there's like shadowy areas there's lighter areas now his hands are weirdly blue there i don't fully know why but then this part is going to be pressed against greymon's back so it's not like we're even going to be seeing that anyway uh, his face i think is really well done i think that is exactly what you'd expect with Ty. his goggles do also shine it's hard to get them in a position but basically yeah they, they, they've got ah there you go bit of bit of gloss uh there you go yeah see it is shiny and we've got his hair which again isn't just one shade of brown it is um it's kind of highlighted on the tips and stuff yeah i am very much digging that uh yeah all of the details are there very much impressed now greymon's gonna be a lot more difficult because this is the best I can get him. So, first up, he is slightly articulated. When I pulled him out of the box, I was a little bit concerned because he was stood a little bit lopsided and he was like, you know, back and forth. He's not now, obviously. Um, and I kind of accidentally pushed on him, but I can say that his legs are kind of jointed, uh, as are his arms. I don't want to do it too much, but, you know, he does... He is a kind of um, vinyl-y kind of figure, so that's to be expected. So I think his legs, his arms, and his tail can rotate, I believe. Obviously, as you can see there, there's no joints uh, for his head and torso, so that is one solid piece. But, I mean, you're not going to pull off crazy, uh, you know, poses with Greymon anyway. He is just a hunk of a dinosaur. 
Uh, so we'll take a look, I guess, uh, Pink Daps, yet again, are fantastic. Like, the shading on his um, toenails and stuff is very cool. Uh, you know, it's, it's several shades of grey and stuff. It's just, oh, it, it's it's so nice. Uh, going up to his legs as well, there's a bit of, like, muscular accentuation with all of the Pink Daps as well. It's kind of a little bit darker near the, like, ripples of the muscles and stuff. And he is... A muscular dude like they they've really got that through there as you can see with the arms as well uh, again they you know they, they've painted the like his clothes and stuff uh, just right as well it's got the clue cool blue markings rippling through him as well that really do pop uh, up to his back and stuff again uh, so those are the holes that Ty will go in uh, obviously, that's like where his hand goes. That's where his feet will go there. Uh, I will attach him in a minute, but I thought it would be better to look at Grimm on, on his own. Uh, you know. And then we're up to... Man, those eyes are fantastic. Uh, they're slightly shiny as well. I think that is just like paint gloss or whatever. But the fact is, eyes shine, but his like skull doesn't. I mean, it does a bit, but not to the same degree. You know, they've definitely put some paint work into that and uh, up to his skull as well his head I guess I keep calling it skull it's kind of like his bone protrusion I guess but like we've got the bands there they're highlighted uh, and yeah everything's just like shaded correctly it's it is very nice uh, yeah he is a very pointy guy and then over to his tail as well Tail is very cool. It's got some musculature as well. As I said, you can rotate it. The fact I've got to use my whole hand to rotate that thing as well. He is such a beast. Now, he is kind of light. Um, he is obviously a vinyl figure. So, sort of, he's, he's a bit hollow inside, obviously. Which, honestly, isn't that bad. Because when I pull him out, it's like, oh, he is a little bit light. But thinking of it, if he was like a solid hunk... Of plastic he would be very heavy um, and you know I do like that he is slightly poseable I'm not gonna go for any like crazy poses but in the upcoming photo montage I will try out a few different things just to see um, so yeah I'm gonna go assemble him quickly all right so I've attached tight it was a little bit finicky because there are three holes and you have to kind of get a perfect balance between them I've also found out that uh, Ty's head is pivoted and stuff, so you can kind of move it about a little bit. Again, not that you'd want to move it crazy, uh, you know, crazy angles, but still, it's pretty cool. Uh, and it really pulls the piece together, I think. I mean, Greymon looks amazing on his own, but with Ty attached as well, it's just, like, even cooler. Anyway, I'm going to go off and take some photos now, um, you know, of various angles and stuff like that. So, here is the montage. Alright, I'm back and I've taken some photos. Man, I've got to say, I am thoroughly impressed with the look of Greymon uh, and Ty. So, I've taken some photos. Um, it's not the most, like, dynamic statue, obviously. He's a big, chunky, muscular boy. That's kind of what you buy him for. But honestly, like, the more I look at him, the more I'm impressed with the paint. I don't know how well it comes out on camera, but the kind of... The, the brown accents on the like the top of his head really do like pop it's it's interesting when you like move it round it sort of adds shades and stuff yeah honestly uh, as my first official gem product this is pretty good i did buy some knockoff gem naruto things years ago uh, if you look back on the channel but i'm not really counting those this is 
I, I, I can see the difference between the kind of like prize figures, which honestly, modern prize figures are pretty good anyway. But between that and this guy is like, there is definitely quite a bit of difference. Um, I want to say there are other gem uh, statues as well. I I think two of the three tamers um, from Digimon Tamers, uh, Gilmon and Renamon, and their tamers, um, I think they came out in a set as well. I was kind of tempted to buy years ago, but I never did get around to it. I want to say there's an Angemon and TK as well, but... I could be wrong, maybe they're not gem. Let me know in the comments below if you guys own any gem Digimon stuff specifically. I know they've done uh, statues for a few series now, but after buying him, they're definitely on my radar more. Uh, only downside with this statue now is I'm going to have to find a place to put him. Um, I do have some spare detolf shelf space, so I'm hoping it, it should fit him, I think. It, it might sort of just about fit but you know i am nonetheless glad and i will find a home for him yeah thank you guys very much for watching i'll leave a playlist to my other statue reviews in the uh, side there and i'll leave youtube choose some other thing and yeah that about wraps it up i will be doing other statue reviews in the future so stick around for that or don't um yeah i'll let you get on with it thank you guys and until next time goodbye